No matter game plan for tomorrow. Fairbanks. Battles. Yep. Battles at the gates so of the Arctic. Like and we're going to start at a place right here in the gates of the Arctic called Pingo Lake. And go all the way out to no attack to that lake. And they're going to pick us up. Fly back battles for what that is on the map. We're cutting tags off everything, getting ready. It's kind of a mess. And it's getting towards sunset. Wednesday night. Tomorrow will be wheels up. For the Arctic, right now we're in Fairbanks on the Chino River. It's been pretty. There's our hotel over there. Sky Deck Lounge, the fabulous Sky Deck Lounge. Remember we had dinner, bikes. All right, here we go, loading up for battle. I stay here in Bettles. Set the scene where it takes about an hour to fly up here, and we are waiting around for the next flight on a float plane. This truck's going to take us up about 10 minutes to where the float plane goes. <laughs> There it is, right there. Well, we'll get it on the way back. Hopefully, they're oh, open. Yeah. to the Arctic. What a beautiful view. Great plane ride over here. Look how smooth this lake is. It's like glass. I cannot believe the amount of cargo we have. We hauled it, it was nice when everybody else was hauling it onto the plane. We hauled it off the plane. It's quiet.
<laughs> That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Doesn't take much room to get these things up on the water. Okay, we're pretty much out here. <laughs> Unless we jump on this one. <laughs> Now video. Campsite it's set up pretty good. For day one. How good safe. Right at the end of Pingo Lake. Welcome to the No Attack River and the Great Canoe Race. <laughs> About a hundred miles. Race is on. <laughs> on Lamad, 17 days. Race is on. We're in the lead. All right. <laughs> Side for day three or night three, night four, and Libby is going to do a little feet washing. This is our view. We should see some wildlife across here. She wants to set the alarm for 2 a.m. to get up. I still got a lot of junk figure out I'm gonna go up that mountain in the morning <laughs> okay we're about Two and a half miles in. It's looking doable. I gotta hear that. This is not a turn. <laughs> Let's just start off every, you know everything you know. with that. <laughs> You're on. Welcome to the top of the gate to the Arctic. Well, as far as we're concerned. Back yeah. there is Pingo Lake. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a large thing. Our oh, camp is down there. River. Somewhere. There goes Alex. And I believe over there is no attack. Great view of everything from the top of this peak. Oh, just talking the video. No worries. And uh, see the ladies over there. I can see it, but the camp is way down there. Right in that area. Looks small in comparison. Day four is over. We've got an awesome hike up the mountain. It just looks beautiful out here right now on the river. Look at that. There's our tent. 
Breaking camp tomorrow, heading down river. Hard to see there, but that's the mountain we climbed today. It's about 10 o'clock and the sun is setting behind that mountain. Yeah. If you catch a fish, you get going. Just keep going, please. Oh. Cast it out there. No, it's I day didn't... six. Oh. Olivia is fishing. I took a little spill in the water. Getting in the canoe on the way over, a little wet, but feeling good. Beautiful scene on this Make Lake Mac track. Trying to catch some fish. Let's see your best shot. There goes the canoe, just at the lake. Goes Ed. Ah, campsite below. The rapids that caught me up over there. Pretty place. Fourth camp. Here are the fish. Be done. Yeah, it's just that gravel and then yeah. and the soil and the, the tundra. Gravel from the ice ages. Mm. Okay, it's day seven. I believe this is our fifth camp. Um, we have paddled 62 miles, and this is our beach camp tonight. We're looking into Noah Tech National Preserve, which I think we're right on the border of. We're just over in the Noah Tech National Preserve. 
So check the box on that one. And back where it's more mountainous over there, really right around the bend, it's the end of Gates of the Arctic. Two more days, two, four more days out here, and then we're flying back to Bettles. Day number eight. Camp number five, maybe. Stayed there last night across the river. Rained pretty hard last night. It's clear enough today, thankfully. Hadn't really seen consistent sun since day four. Livy is going hiking boots and ditching the rubbers. Well, we are going for the summit here, and some other folks are going for that little knoll over there. The depression. Welcome to the top of the Noatech National Reserve, that is. Right on the border, gates of the Arctic. And it is windy and cold too. And rainy. Let's stop right now. It's our campsite for day nine and the last day for me and Livy. It was cloudy, rainy cold, lots of rapids, and we have made it to the end of the line. The lake is right over on the other side of that hill over there. Well, the land of the almost midnight sun. Look at that. Just an orange glow back there. Setting sideways. Down by the river the last night. Fantastic. over there we're gonna get picked up we go Olivia and Tom I uh, had it fishing one last time for Livy. This is the lake where they'll pick us up. Gavetrek. And they'll land on this little part right here, apparently. It goes on around the other, in the notch, too.
set, Bettles Lodge, Bettles Airport. Trees, kind of cold. There's the lodge. Semi civilization, perhaps. Bettles Lodge. Last day of the outpost. Hey, don't run away. I want a picture over here. I want you to get me in this picture. Population 63. Elevation's only 643. Huh. The airport is a dirt strip. It's right there. I love these signs over here. All the distances are about the same. New York to Honolulu, Tokyo. Norway. It's shorter than Norway. South Pole, 10,000 miles. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. <laughs> Strike two. <laughs> I'll watch out. Get them airborne. One more. Thank you, good. What happened to that last one? It went a little to the left. I'm sorry, right? Sure. Watch the boat. Where did that go? Oh, that's way, bro. 